A very good morning to all of you and welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today we'll share with a devotion entitled A Heart Full of Love. A Heart Full of Love. I'm going to read from 2 Corinthians 5, verses 14 to 15, and it says, Either way, Christ's love controls, compels, urges us. He died for everyone so that those who receive his new life will no longer live for themselves. Instead, they will live for Christ, who died and was raised for them. You know, love is a great thing, but it's only good when it is demonstrated. A lot of people say that they love God. A lot of people say that they love people. They say that they love their brothers, their sisters in Christ. They love their parents. They love their children. We all try to find creative ways of sharing our love with those closest to us. But no one could ever offer a display of love as Jesus did on Calvary. That he was willing to give his life for your life and die for you and me. The cross is the greatest symbol of love the world has ever seen. Far greater than a heart, a candle, a hug, a love letter, a kisses, a kiss. His love becomes our motivation for serving others. You know, if you have truly have the love of God, it is a joy to serve others. It is a joy to be a blessing. It is a joy to give unto His family, to give unto one another. It is a joy to pray, and it's a joy to serve Him. We don't have to be have a heart. The full of expression when we say our heart is full of love, but we don't know how to love others and we don't know how to love God. We don't know how to sacrifice and give time to God. Ed Stetzer says, The love of Christ influences every decision we make and everything we do. His love becomes our way of life not mere devotion. The love of Christ influences every decision we make and everything we do. Can you imagine? You are doing what you are doing. Why are you doing what you are doing? You are serving God. Why are you serving God? You are coming to church to worship. Why are you coming to church to worship God? Because you love God. That's why you're doing that. You love God, that's why you're serving. You love God, that's why you're serving one to another. You love God, that's why you're forgiving one another. You love God because you know what? We are the family in Christ Jesus because He is God, our Father. Amen. God bless you all and you all have a great day. Learn to love God more and learn to love people more by expressing it and serving one another as you serve God. Amen. God bless you. You have a great day. Father, bless the people with a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and see you again in, in our next devotion. Blessings.